You ever heard about 50% of all small businesses fail within the first five years? And however, um, and another 50% of those left will fail in the next five years. So actually about 95% of all small businesses fail in the first 10 years. Um, what's going on with that? But different than that, franchises tend to succeed. And that's the reason I want to teach you what is called, and I got this from Michael Gerber, the business franchise format, which he uh, just really wrote about McDonald's, the franchise type. And if you haven't seen the movie, uh, The Founder, it's worth watching. It really is because you learn something. Um, through studying with Michael Gerber, he said, if you're going to do one, two or three, build it as if you were going to do a hundred of them. That's your, your prototype because you're prototyping your business. Listen, it, don't hate the player, hate the game. I learned to play the game. I know sometimes people can get thrown off and, by who I am and think, well, maybe he didn't know, but think about this. How the hell do you think I got to be where I am? Do you think I was just privilege, just born privilege and everything is laid out. No, I learned the process. I am privileged though to have a father that um, was, was that, that showed me how to do things, even though very poor. But I, I learned that he always was working for himself. He was hustling and he was doing different things and bring people in to help him with this or that. And you get something together to go to the market. And that's the reason in a capitalistic society, and yes, I'm a capitalist as far as that's concerned, you want to be able, because it's what the market will bear. And if somebody else is doing better than you, then they may be do, uh, getting your business because they are delivering a better product or whatever. But what you uh, have to do is understand, in a capitalistic society, we're here to compete. And, and you, you're looking for opportunities. Uh, I think it was Peter Drucker said that the entrepreneur is, is obligated to seek out opportunities and exploit them to their advantage. You have to seek out the opportunities there are a lot of opportunities out there and you got to exploit them. So number one, you're looking for great opportunities that you could build a team and take advantage of. Now, I, I want to go into this. Uh, so I'm going to throw out some things here first, just random, and then I'm going to help you organize it. But I want to kind of put some things in place. The first and foremost thing you have to have is a good viable plan. A, a viable plan, meaning something you can get from point A to point B, and when you get to point B, it accomplishes what you want. Sometimes, because there's a lot of things you could do and go around in circles and spend a lot of time, but you still haven't gotten to point B. So what you want to do is start with the destination in mind. Where do you want to go? And even larger than that, what's the purpose? Why do you want to do it? You know, but. If you're in dentistry, let's say, for instance, or, or your physician, the opportunities just abound. I don't see how you could give you more to receive your less. It's just me. I like to get paid for what I do. I, I, dedicate, I gave myself and I gave a lot to um, the field of, of dentistry, but I got a lot back. A lot of people I find give, 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 but they never get anything back because they don't really know how to extract anything. So what I'm talking about is the opportunity to set up a business. And, and you want to become a businessman. That's, that's a big part of it. If you're an entrepreneur, then you're a businessman. And if you're a businessman, you need to understand how business works, you know, and, and what attracts, how do you make money and how do you retain that and how do you grow wealth? That's the whole thing. Most people are cuffing the knowledge and a lot of people are running around thinking that they're going to get it from other people who are hiding it from you. I've already retired, so I don't need to hide anything anymore. I'm just giving it away because, you know, we're, we're not here for long. So it's my chance to just give back and just network. So there's so many opportunities, especially I'm looking at dentistry right now. I made a lot helping the underprivileged. And now opportunities are growing and I, and I used a, 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 a Warren Buffett kind of strategy. I, he said, when everyone else is trying to get in, that's your time to be getting out. 
So I use that strategy as my exit strategy. But I'm going to tell you, there's still so many opportunities. I've been sitting on the sideline for a couple of years. So I see some opportunities and I'd like to share those with you. But I, I also I was sharing with a, a friend of mine today who was saying he finally hired a manager. You definitely have to have managers, operations manager. You need to build a, a, a corporation. You need to build from your prototype and expand as you need, but you need to have systems in place and your systems development so that you can expand and have what, a hundred of them. Even if you never get there, if you get to five, 10, but you build it as if you were gonna have a hundred. That makes you work out all of the processes. And then you, once you have all of the processes and systems, you can just trust the process. It's gonna work out because you built that, that prototype so tight and every time, the reason you have to think of 100 is, if you're thinking 100, well, this might work for one or it may work for two, but if I had 100, that wouldn't work. So now you can go back to the board and, and just redo it until you have it so that it would work for 100. Now you can start rolling them out and it's, it's and when you do that, somebody wants to buy your product. It's worth a lot of money, especially if it's throwing off a lot of profits. You you got to bring in certain revenues, but you got to make a lot of profit. And and the way to do it is look for the opportunities. Opportunities are normally not where the herd is. You you're gonna find an opportunity where they ain't. That's where you're trying to go, where everybody else ain't. You want to be there because. I mean, it's the law of supply and demand. If everybody is already there, then it's, the supply is already there. There's no great demand. You got to go where you can create some kind of demand somehow. So the law of su supply and demand. Then there's another law of large numbers. You have to be able to do larger and larger numbers. I'm telling you, this is the way you're going to walk away wealthy. The law of supply and demand, the law of large numbers law of averages. That works in your favor. Most people are afraid to make mistakes, but they don't know what you're doing. You're playing the law of averages. You get better at it, and sometimes you swing, you miss, but you learn, you go back. So you keep doing it. You got to be, don't worry about losing. If you're young, you got plenty of chance to just make it over again. And if you're really swinging and using the law of large numbers, even when, though you miss a lot, when you connect, you connect so, so large, that your lucrative, Larry, you're living that lucrative lifestyle because when you do hit and you get it right, it just goes. But it's not overnight. I'm not going to lie about it because anytime someone could tell you that it's something that you could just do an overnight and you pull the lever and then, you know, all the things, you know, it's like Vegas, <laughs> that lying to you. I'm not going to lie to you. It takes time to develop. That's the reason. It's a process. Trust the process. Now I can get more into it, but I'm going to stop here so that I can give a little bit on the next one.